Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter. This is my updated 2020 video covering the exact steps you need to take in order to link Google Analytics and Google Search Console. Once linked, you'll be able to see how your website is performing in the organic search results on Google right inside Google Analytics. I will cover the differences between the reports you'll find directly inside Search Console compared to the Search Console reports available in Google Analytics. And I'll also talk about some of the limitations you might encounter when analyzing your organic search traffic in Google Analytics. Let's get started. Google Search Console allows you to access reports, insights, and other features relating to the performance of your website in Google Search results. We're currently looking at the Search Console performance report for my personal website. It doesn't get much traffic, so it's not very exciting, but it gives you an idea of what you'll get once you've verified your own website. Now, it's important to verify your website in Google Search Console because it allows to access data that isn't available in Google Analytics or other analytics platforms. This is because when people click through from the organic search results on Google, the keywords people have used will not be included in your Google Analytics reports. Instead, you'll see keywords reported as not provided, which doesn't provide any insights into how people are finding your website. Okay, so if you haven't already, you'll need to verify your website in Google Search Console. This is really about proving that you own and manage the website you're adding to Search Console. So let's start by heading to Google Search Console. If you haven't used Search Console before, I've included a link in the description below this video. If it's the first time you have used Google Search Console, you will be asked to verify your website to get started. We can see there are two options. On the left, we have the option to verify the domain, and on the right, we have the option to verify a URL prefix. I recommend you verify your website using both methods. This is because domain verification will provide you with a more complete set of data. This is particularly important if you use multiple subdomains. It will mean you have an aggregate set of data for your entire domain, regardless of how someone accesses your website. Unfortunately, this newer type of Google Search Console property isn't currently compatible with Google Analytics. This means that you'll also want to verify your website using the URL prefix. The URL prefix method will only match the exact URL you have verified. This means that if we verify HTTPS www.example.com, it will only provide reports for that exact domain. It won't provide reports for our subdomains or the non-secure version of our website. So if you are using multiple subdomains, you'll have to verify each of these separately. The other thing I need to highlight is that you can only link one of these properties to Google Analytics. So I recommend that you start by verifying the primary domain for your website that receives the majority of your traffic. You can then link this to Google Analytics. I'm going to enter HTTPS www.benjaminmangold.com and then click continue. I can now see the available verification options for my website. I just want to highlight that if you already meet the criteria for any of these verification options, you will be automatically verified. This makes it super quick to get up and running with Google Search Console you will see a message like this one. Okay, let's head back. The recommended option at the top is to add a HTML file to my website. And there are other options below this. They include adding a HTML tag to my website's homepage, verifying using my Google Analytics account, my Google Tag Manager account, or adding a DNS record for my domain. I'm going to use my Google Analytics account to verify my website. To learn more about the other verification options, check out the extra resources in the description below this video. In order to verify my website using Google Analytics, I need to have the Google Analytics tracking code installed on my website. I also need to have edit permission for the Google Analytics account using the same email address I'm using to verify Search Console. So now I'm going to click Verify. That's it. 
Now that I've verified my website, I'll begin to see data in the reports after 12 to 24 hours. While I'm waiting, I can link Google Search Console and Google Analytics. So let's head to Google Analytics. You'll need to select Admin, and then in the center column, we need to select all products under product linking. Now we need to scroll down to the bottom and select Link Search Console. We can see that Google Search Console isn't currently linked, so let's click Add. Now we need to select the Search Console property we want to link to Google Analytics. If you have more than one Search Console property for your website, you should pick your primary domain, the one that receives the most traffic, and link this to Google Analytics. Then we just need to click Save. We can now head back to Google Analytics. And let's refresh the page. That's it, we can see that our Search Console property is linked to Google Analytics. Moving forward, data will begin to become available in your reports. Let's take a look. Again, this is data for my personal website and Search Console was linked recently, within 24 hours, so there's not much in the report yet. Okay, so the biggest difference between the reports you find directly inside Search Console and the Search Console reports in Google Analytics is that the reports in Google Analytics combine data from Search Console with data collected by the Google Analytics tracking code. This means you're likely to see differences between the number of clicks and sessions. This is because some people will click through to your website but have cookies or JavaScript disabled, which means they won't be tracked by Google Analytics. Another difference you might notice is that the reports inside Google Analytics are based on the time zone you selected for the reporting view likely the location of your office, while Google Search Console uses Pacific Daylight Time. This means the data will be different based on the two different time zones, unless of course Google Analytics is set to Pacific Daylight Time too. And you can't use segments. You can't apply segments to the Search Console data in Google Analytics. And you can't use information from Search Console to create segments. For example, it's not possible to create a segment using a particular search query for in-depth analysis. In most cases, you'll probably end up using the reports directly in Google Search Console and Google Analytics. This gives you the best of both platforms. So that's how you can link Google Analytics and Google Search Console in order to see how your website performs in organic search results on Google. Once linked, you'll be able to use the Search Console reports to analyze keywords, landing pages, and more. Remember, you can also access the reports directly inside Google Search Console too. Are you using the Search Console reports? Do you have any tips you'd like to add? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.